gonna do it anyway. Arr, I like taking a risk. Yes, I do. Okay, so I had this really interesting experience I wanted to share with you. And it's, it's uh, really taught me to trust and to make observations of what's happening in our life right here, right now, because all the answers are uh, just wanting to be revealed. So the other day I was on the pole, I did this backspin to the ground and I laid there and I surrendered and I started crying and I could not understand why I was crying. There was nothing up. And the more I felt into it, the more I realized that it was um, a situation that happened when I was about two years old and my mom and my sister dressed me up in lipstick, like really uh, all over my face lipstick and they had me in these high heels that were way too big for me and they were spinning me around and taking a video of me and laughing. And for the longest time, I just felt so much shame about that and so much ridicule. And it was like disturbing to me. But then um, the strangest things happened, right? I was at an agility trial with my dog and my friend Helen was there with her dog, Chuck. And you may have seen my other videos where I do parodies. And she said, oh, this would be a perfect parody for us to send in the clowns because her dog was like peeing on the field and sniffing everything and just really not um, doing a, having a very good run at all. So send in the clowns. And I, I listened to that song. I thought that's a pretty good song. Maybe we should do a parody on it. And then in that instant, I realized that I would be doing the same thing or very similar to the same thing that my mom and my sister did with me, like like laughing at her dog, Chuck. And I was like, oh my God. So I listened to the song and it was so touching. And then I, I got like what the song really means. I looked up the lyrics and apparently it's like, there was a whole play done around this, but one interpretation was, when things are going really bad and people can't deal with what's happening, that's when you bring in the clowns. And so I thought all of a sudden it wasn't me at all. They weren't ridiculing me with that lipstick on and everything. They were just like trying to deal with their own pain of life and trying to get some distraction going. And it was so um, empowering to see that and to reframe it like our perception is everything I reframe that and all of a sudden I thought wow what a great service I was doing and it had nothing to do with them shaming me and the funny thing is that I was um, I was in my purse getting out this well my friend Helen said her dog was sniffing everything on the, the ring, right? So it needed some distraction so it wouldn't be sniffing all the smells. And she said, I'm not going back to my car for that peppermint I have. And I said, well, I have this uh, Burt's Bees um, lip balm and it's got a little bit of a scent in it. Maybe that would help. So I used my thumbnail and I pulled a little bit out and she put it on Chuck's face all this happened I didn't even know anything about this trauma I had you know seemingly been through but she put the lipstick on Chuck and he did another run and he did really good <laughs> that run so I wanted to share that story with you because you know first of all I was looking for support from the people that I typically get support from. I was looking and looking and feeling alone and then Helen comes out of the blue and has this thing send in the clowns and it helped me um, see that whole thing in a different perspective. So, you know, the support really is around us all the time. All the time if we just slow down and notice the details and and trust that everything
everything, no matter how simple it may seem in our life or how irrelevant it may seem, is really there to help us, to help us evolve out of this whole victim mentality into higher awareness. And uh, I hope you enjoyed that story. And if you have any experiences like that, please uh, put them down in the checks. I'd love to hear um, you know, what you're exploring and what you're learning in life.